Well, thank you so much, and I thank everybody who's been involved in this important project, but I really thank GIZ, or GIZ, as you say here, for their support of not just AUN, but for youth. As you just said, this project is about market-driven youth resilience. The Germans came to us and said, we are worried that there are so many youth businesses in Yola, and bonuses, for example. But uh, we want to do something that empowers them, because like Lionel said, with the COVID, everything went down. It builds on a very important project that AUN um, coordinated building resilience through sustainable agriculture. So I really honor GIZ for this focus, both on sustainable agriculture, but particularly on youth resilience. <laughs> Currently, I'm running almost two beds, 200 beds plus. Business as a tool for building resilience in post conflict societies. I'm very interested in this question, if I'm being honest with myself, because it's like, why business? People who don't like each other still do business together. Mm -hmm. You know, and so if we focus on entrepreneurship in conflict situations like this, that's the real solution to, you know, empowering society. But specifically when you look at young people, they are in that group, they're excited, they are willing to learn, they're open. And there's no other way to engage young people. They have all the dreams in the world. When young men and women do not have um, the, uh, the dignity that comes from, from work, they, they, um, they, they'll find ways to, um, to draw that dignity from somewhere else. And where that dignity does not come from work, from a decent wage or a decent living, it could come from the world of God. I'm particularly pleased with the sports for development. I'm talking out to the youth out there who think they can play sports for development. I didn't know that I was going to be playing ball, but right now I'm playing volleyball. So I think no one should actually stand you down, put you down, like don't do this, don't do that, just come out and play for the world. If we continue to have such programs scattered all over the country, instances of robbery, kidnappings, drugs and a lot of issues will go down because more youths are going to be engaged doing positive things for themselves. Statistics and data have shown all over the world, wherever there are programs that get youth off the streets, Crime, violence, and terrorism dropped tremendously. What we need to do more about this, I think we have to expand the number of beneficiaries, if possible, if funding permits. Because I see a lot of people on the street, a lot of kids on the street that need to be part of this program. I'm so happy that I'm part of this and I can see so many changes among them. Those who couldn't stand and talk to people are today team leaders in this S4D. So I'm very happy for this and I look forward to more of this program.